Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It is the first day of December 2022. It's the first day of Vlogmas 2022. It's about 64 degrees and rainy here at Site B on the first day of uh, December. And we have been graced with another 40-minute video from the very charismatic Jeremy Crawford regarding the current fate of the one D and D playtest and the results of the first two rounds of the survey. So content warning, I'm going to be addressing wizards of the coast, which I know some of you are sick of me addressing. And I'm going to be talking about Jeremy Crawford wasting 40 minutes of our time to talk about one page of information, which basically boils down to a couple stats, but apparently yes. So if that's something that upsets you, probably stop watching now because i'm probably not going to say very th many very nice things about crawford all right so jeremy crawford just released a 40 minute interview talking about the results of the first two rounds of the play test for one dnd reminder one dnd is still a play test it is not an official rule set nothing is official till we see the final product in 2024 so all these individuals were talking about like a this is set in stone and b this is the done things like no no it isn't we haven't even seen all of it yet. We've only seen two things so far. And as of this morning, we have the third thing, which is just one class and some changes to the rules. So we still got a way to go, guys. But don't worry, because they'll be playtesting it all through next year, taking surveys, which they will then ignore, and releasing whatever it is they're going to release in 2024, which is already sounding to like, well, it'll be different. In much the same way that 5e is different. Will it be backwards compatible? Well, it might be backwards compatible with the 5e stuff, barely, but no, not really, because it kind of just reads like they're really changing a lot of the basic understanding and stuff. But don't worry, armor class hit points and that kind of crap will probably still be around in some form. But race is gone. Oh, yes, Jeremy Crawford makes a lot of noise about the fact the term race is currently removed from 1D&D. &D. This is not the first time they've done that. Remember, they got rid of it, then they brought it back, then they got rid of it, then they brought it back. Well, now they're getting rid of it again, which means they'll probably bring it back. So anyway, Jeremy Crawford has graced us with a 40-minute video talking about the results of the first two rounds of playtests and what the plans are in the future. Now, in that 40 minutes, we basically get about five minutes worth of actual information and 35 minutes of Jeremy Crawford going, I'm Jeremy Crawford. Uh, I was really hoping we were done with Crawford and Chris Perkins would be the new figurehead because he's at least slightly more palatable and a little less charismatic. I'm trying to be nice because uh, it's Christmas and I want Santa to bring me presents. So here are the results. Wizards of the Coast 1 D&D playtest surveys results. Everything that has been re scored so far is scoring pretty high which basically means the stuff that they didn't change, people like. The stuff that makes people more powerful, like the new feats people like and the new backgrounds people like. Almost everything else kind of scored a 70%, which means, eh, we were, it's fine. Uh, I said this at the beginning, and I'm going to go through it to the very end of 1D&D. &D. Um, if you looked at this, and nowhere on the stuff did it say... Wizards of the Coast, Dungeons and Dragons. Just look at what was being presented so far. Like me, you'd probably go, you know what? This is a semi-decent attempt at creating a 5e fantasy game, much like all the other 5e fantasy games that have come out in the past, you know, whatever it is, since 2014, that use the 5e system that aren't D&D. It's got some good ideas. It's got some bad ideas. It's got some interesting takes on pre-existing ideas. It doesn't really feel like Dungeons & Dragons, but then, you know, for a lot of us, 5e doesn't feel like Dungeons & Dragons. I'm not going to get into that um, argument now. Uh, so, yeah, if I didn't, if you didn't know one D&D &D was D&D &D and just looked at what was presented so far, you'd go, okay, this is okay first attempt. I can't wait to see what comes out next after they finish playtesting it. But, you know, this is a fine alternate take on fantasy RPG as established by D&D. &D. Now, since going knowing it's D&D &D and knowing that the, the, the oh, this is going to be backwards compatible and you're going to love everything we change um, because we're doing what you want, knowing full well that no matter what you change, people are still going to complain, as seen in the results... 
I'm going, you know, it's, it's okay you're changing D&D to make a 6th edition because? Other than money? None of this really feels, I don't know, necessary. I mean, you've already released so many splat books changing the rules as it is, pre-Tasha's, post-Tasha's, up to now, that, you know, if I put everything down and went, okay, like, like this is a mess, I don't know what this is. This is too much rules, blah, 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 blah. But now we're changing everything again, which will be, except it won't be backwards compatible. So, yeah, uh, the things that get rated the highest was, of course, was anything that gave player characters more powers, like the feats at first level and stuff like that. Uh, everything else scored between 60 and 80%, uh, you know, with the generally results of it's okay, but a lot of stuff needs to be still be tinkered with. Um People did not like the D20 rules. They still don't like it. Um, they do not like some of the new species added, like the Ardling. Uh, they do not like the D20 test rules. They don't like uh, Dragonborn having a breath weapon uh, and what the relationship is between the various versions of Dragonborn. They don't like the Ardling. Uh, they liked humans and how the changes to humans. They sort of like the changes to dwarfs orcs, tieflings, and elves didn't really like the changes to gnomes and halflings. Uh, they're changing, so they're changing Dragonborn and uh, Ardlings again. Uh, looks like they're going to be changing warriors, even though they haven't shown us warriors yet. They're going to be introducing something called new base, new home bases, subsystems, uh, NPCs connected with player characters, so um, they're basically giving you a Bastion system or a home base system where your player characters can build their home base, similar to something we've seen in a lot of video games lately. Uh, right now, there's a total of 48 subclasses. They're changing encounter building rules, monster customization options, new versions of things which appear in the playtest after the feedback. So they're going to change things. Crawford goes out of his way to make sure we understand that we're gonna he's gonna change things after he reads the feedbacks from the playtest, which is the whole point of the playtest. Uh, playtests are a playtest, so if you don't see something in the rules yet, it probably means they're not changing it, like Elderous Blast. Uh, other things that have been changed are uh, thieves. We know that. Uh, Rangers, great weapon fighting and sharp shooting light weapon properly. It's just some general rule changes that were going to be addressed in the new playtest, which just came out this morning. And then, of course, the playtest process will continue a year. And then he goes on to change, inform us why they changed the term race. So as of today, the re term race has been removed from 1D&D. &D. Uh, instead, is being replaced with uh, species and as of now they do not intend to return to the term race they said that before and then they uh <clears throat> kept it around till today but as of today when D, &D <coughs> is using the term species because the term race is i don't know i'm not even going to touch that one. i'm not going to touch that one <coughs> And they are adding the species of Goliath to the playtest, which is live today. So if you want to see um, Jeremy Crawford for talking over 40, a minute, 40 minutes to give you basically, how much, how long was that? Um, basically give you about nine minutes, uh, subtract me pontificating and being a jackass. So about five minutes of information in a 40 minute uh, video to tell you basically uh, the surveyors liked the stuff that made their characters more powerful. They didn't like the stuff that was confusing. They want you to change the rules because they're still too hard and still not fair. And please get word, rid of the word race because it makes me feel uncomfortable for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Other than apparently it is extremely popular on Twitter to tell people you feel the term race is uncomfortable. And far be it from Crawford to ever turn down a chance to go, I am a man of the people. I am Jeremy Crawford. I do what you say. And then you still insult me. So I will change it. And then you will still insult me. I am Jeremy Crawford. Look at me. I am handsome. I am tall. I am all-knowing. I am Jeremy Crawford. 
I really thought they'd get Chris Perkins. I thought we were done with Crawford, but yeah. So apologies if you don't like me making fun of Crawford or one D&D, but you knew it was coming. Uh, anyways, I'm the OG GM, and I will continue to monitor this story as it comes out. Of course, I will go through the entire playtest packet for you so you don't have to. Links down below so you can make up your own mind about the things I just talked about. <sighs> Support me, water! Please stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas 2022. Please stay tuned for the rest of the 30 days of D&D 2022. Please join me in watching the Yogcast, the Jingle Jam, as we do every Christmas, because it's always fun. And uh, in the immortal words of a famous Hollywood star starlet in regards to gaming in 2023, hold on to your hat, boys. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Oh, my God. I'm the OG GM. If you have nothing else to do this holidays, buy my merch. Links down below. I will talk to you later.